Let's talk about independent analytics. It is a free plugin, which has also a, fro, a pro version, <laughs> a fro. <laughs> and um, it is quite interesting because it lets you track your visits and all the visitors data of your website, of your WordPress website, directly into your WordPress dashboard and without having to install the third party um, stuff. Basically, it is a beautiful alternative to Google Analytics. And I'm talking to you about this plugin right here in this review because I believe that this is a solution if you want to get rid of Google Analytics and most of all, if you want to have a GDPR compliant solution that lets you store all your analytics data right inside your WordPress website, in your database, in your server. So this is great. It's a great plugin. I love the, the approach of the developers. Even if I don't know them in person, I just had a few email messages with Ben, which is one of the two developers that are leading this project. And uh, I love their approach. I love their website. I also will leave you the link of the website in the description below. And as I was mentioning, they have a free version and they have a pro version that we will see during this video. But already by using the free version, you got access, you get access to a thousand of, a thousand, maybe not, but hundred of interesting features to keep track of your visits, of your website visits and to be able to take decisions based on the data of your website. Hmm, this is great. And uh, the most important thing is that the beautiful, the dashboard is beautiful. So you get access immediately. You can go into the wordpress.org and simply go and check for the free plugin. You go in plugin, add new, add new plugin down here and you type inside here, independent analytics down here. Okay. so. Here we have the plugin. You install it, you can just start playing around right away. It works also if you already are using another analytics plugin like Google Analytics. They will not conflict uh, between each other. You can use both of them together if you want just to test this out, for example. And also if you want to, to make a switch between Google Analytics and independent analytics, you can keep them both running uh, for a month or two, for example, if you want to have a comparison and uh, see how they work. And in my case, I have installed the pro version, so I do not need to install the free one. And once you install it, you will see the widget appearing on your dashboard and you can easily go and start immediately viewing all the viewers and the interactions that your website are generating. The first view here is the view based on pages, which is the most interesting and relevant stuff here because it differs from, um, it is different from the Google one because you can basically go and access many, many um, advanced data. For example, you can switch uh, you can turn on the author, you can turn on the post category, you can turn on the number of comments, for example, it can easily go and see which page uh, is, uh, is, the, um, is receiving more, um, the most comments, for example, or which post category is working better, or you can filter by author, you can filter by page type. For example, yeah, I, have a, I have a custom post type, which is called resource on my website, and I can see it down here. Basically, it is very important, you see, very important to access this kind of data when you're running on WordPress and to be able to see WordPress data inside your analytics dashboard, which is not happening if you're using Google. So this is great. You see down up here, you also have a quick um, filter if you want to change the time frame: seven days, today, yesterday, one month, and so on. And you can easily apply them. You can apply some filters based on advanced rules. For example, I can decide to uh, see in my report here only the uh, visitors that are coming from uh, a specific post category. Let's say that I want to track and keep track of uh, people that are seeing my WordPress reviews, for example. I can even combine filters and I can choose, for example, here to include only visits, that are the posts that are generating visits more than uh, 100 visits, for example. Then I apply. If I'm happy with this report, I can also save this report and give it a name. And I can call it, for example, WordPress reviews report. And I can save it and I can even make it default. For example, I can in uh, doing like this, I, I know that each time I open up my analytics page here, I will see this report for, uh, for first here. You see, that's awesome. And down here, you can easily go and track what's happening on your website. So here I have other reports, the tutorials one, the news, the uh, et cetera, et cetera. Even two-day report, which is great. You can see just the visits that are occurred today here and all the pages that have been visited today. <laughs> awesome. Then you have also the refers. So this is simple. You can see where the traffic is coming from. 
For example, YouTube, Google, I see that in this case, I have a lot of di direct traffic, which is called, uh, which is coming from my email campaigns. I have some uh, good YouTube traffic, some good Google traffic and so on. So I can decide where to invest my energies and my next, uh, my next, uh, yeah, maybe my next marketing efforts, efforts. In this case, YouTube and email marketing are the best channels for me. Then we also have the geographic data. We can see where our, our visitors are coming from. United States, in my case, and India. Hello, United States and India. You Apparently, you are the most numbers, the, the most uh, visitors. <laughs> the most of my visitors are coming from these countries and from France because I'm based in France right now. So, of course, uh, there are some people that are visiting from France too. France too. And then I have devices. So I can easily go and filter by device type, by, oper uh, by OS, for example, if I want to see Windows, Mac, and so on, and browser type. So I can easily go and take some decisions based also on this kind of, uh, of data, which is great, good to know. Okay, now, if I want to buy the Pro version, of course, all these features are free, it is fully GDPR compliant, it is made for WordPress by WordPress developers, so this is awesome and you can already see it and uh, feel it when you just use the dashboard, which is great, I love it. And um, as I was mentioning, all the other free features, you can easily go and compare them into the website. You have saved reports, device reports, refers, uh, geographic, it is easy to set up because once you install it, it just starts running immediately right away and um, basically that's it then you have the pro features at the end of the video i will also give you the pro and cons and i will also uh, answer to the most common questions about this plugin if it will slow down the website if it is taking up so much database space i will answer all these questions and we will see them together at the end of the video right now let's check the pro features you have the campaigns feature which is great, it is one of my favorite, I've used it a few times, and basically you can track your campaigns based on UTM parameters that are stored in the link. So, you can use uh, the UTM parameters taken from an existing campaign, or you can create your own UTM links by using the link builder which is included in Independent Analytics, which is great and very easy to use, you see here, it is called campaign builder and you can easily go and track all your data which are connected with a campaign with a specific marketing campaign and generate your url once you generate your url you will see in your analytics and reports all the data that are coming from campaigns in my case i do not have any active campaign right now but I can create them and I will see all the data appearing here. For example, I can easily go and check how many sales I'm making through a campaign or how many uh, form, submi form submissions I'm getting. In fact, uh, one, uh, some of the advanced features that you get when you upgrade to the pro version are just the form tracking and the e-commerce uh, e analytics. The form tracking, it, it's uh, integrated with uh, the most used form plugins, WP Forms, Elementor Forms, Fluent Forms, and many others, as you can see here. And basically you can keep track of uh, the conversion rate and uh, you can um, see the conversion rate through time or based on the campaigns and based on the referrer. And so you can easily keep track of how the, your forms are performing on your website, of course. Down here, down here, up here, you also have the e-commerce analytics. Now it is working with WooCommerce and Shortcart. This is awesome because uh, the Shortcart integration has uh, been released on September 4th, which is already, it's a fresh release. And this proves that they are really listening to their community. In fact, if you go and click on help and go on the roadmap feature, you see that they are answering, reviewing and working on many, many, many feature requests that are posted by the community which is awesome. One of these was the Surecart integration, for example, but they are working on many other integrations. The Rank Math integration, the real-time analytics filtering, the integration with main VP, WP, and many other external services. This is great. Right now, they are working on the click tracking, for example, and I believe also that they are working on heat maps, for example. So this is going to become a very, very huge plugin, which will have more and more advanced features. Right now, you also have the 
uh, real-time analytics, which is awesome. I personally use this feature when I'm um, uh, running some campaigns or when I send out my newsletter and I want to see uh, how many people are connecting from different countries on my website. And most of all, I want to see that everything is working fine, that there are no 404 pages or any other kind of error on my website. So this is great and is a, a great, great feature that you get when you upgrade to the pro version. And then you got email reports. I love email reports and uh, I would love them even more if I have to run an agency or uh, if I have uh, a few clients that needs to be reported each time there is um, there are some interesting news about their visits on their website. So basically here you can track and send daily, weekly or monthly reports to yourself or to your clients. And you can also customize the look and feel of uh, these messages. You can change the colors and brand uh, to, ma to make them match your brand, for example, as you can see here, and you can send them out to your clients and so on. So this is a great feature that you get access to when you upgrade to the pro, pro version. The pricing is uh, interesting because there is a discount right now. It won't last forever, so if you're interested in this kind of plugin, just buy it because uh, it, uh, it is a very interesting discount right now. And there is also a lifetime license, which is very affordable. So you can choose the number of websites that you want to install this plugin, this premium plugin to. Uh, in this case, if you choose one, uh, three and five, you will see all the different kind of solutions that you have if you want to buy them. And then be careful here because the early bird discount will disappear soon. Sooner or later it will disappear. And when you buy using discount, you're basically locking the price. So the, all the future, future renewals of your plugin will be at the same discounted price. This is very interesting. And uh, they have a 100% money back guarantee for 30 days, which is awesome. You can pay with PayPal, uh, credit card, and many other, many other payment methods. And down here you have all the frequently asked questions. So now it is time to have a coffee break. Just one sip. Okay, and while I'm drinking, you can comment down below. What do you think about this plugin? Do you have any question? Now I'm going to answer the most common question about this plugin, which are about space, um, uh, database space, uh, if it slows or not the website um, and uh, many other stuff. Let's see them together. Okay, first thing, does this plugin slow down your website? No, it doesn't. And uh, they are very smart because they are just loading a two kilobytes code, which is very, 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 very light code, a script, which is taking, um, uh, which is monitoring basically your website visitors. And uh, this is happening only once this website has loaded. So when I go and visit my website, for example, let's go here and load my WP Roads website. That's this website, by the way, I'm going to rebuild it completely and it will look very differently in a, in a few days. Anyway, you see here, I load my website. Okay, it is very fast as you can see. And only once the page is load, has loaded, the script of the analytics plugin will, will start running. So basically it is not impacting at all your website speed. The other stuff is regarding the space that is taken up into the database. If you go into and click on the help and knowledge base, you will have quick access here to the uh, where is the, okay, you will have a quick access to the common questions and here you will see, will my database get bloated? No, because basically here you will get two or 300 megabytes of space taken up by your database data, by your data in the database, only if you have 1 million sessions per month. <laughs> so if you have a huge website, of course, you will need to uh, address this. But if you have a common website, even if you have 500,000 visits per month, it will still be okay. And you can always use the automatically delete all the data feature, which is very simple to enable. When you install the plugin, you will have the feature, you will have the settings tab here. Okay, let's go and check it out. You go into the analytics settings and basically you can just go here, scroll down to the end and choose to automatically delete old data. For example, each year you can delete the old data or each month or each two months and so on. 
Then you can also address all your GDPR concerns because if you are worried to be GDPR compliant, you can read this, uh, this article here, which is very, very short. And basically it explains to you that all the data and the functioning of the plugin is really, really created to be GDPR compliant. It is not storing personal users data. It is not storing cookies or any other stuff. And so basically you are GDPR compliant when you install this plugin. Awesome, because you are collecting the data into an anonymous way, so there are anonymous data, and into your own website server. Great, you're not sharing them with third parties. One last question that I found that users asked a lot is the fact if you can use Google Analytics and uh, independent analytics together. Of course, you can do that because they are completely independent <laughs> one from the other. And um, voila, so you can basically use them together for a while to see, to compare them, to compare how they're working and to compare if you are just uh, more happy with one or the other. <laughs> okay, so these were the common questions that I wanted to address. So now all the pros of this plugin, you already saw them during the video because basically this is a free and powerful plugin. You can install it on your website and you can uh, get access to all the data that are regarding your, your website visitors. So now let's go and see what can be improved in this plugin. I think that one thing that can be improved into the analytics plugin is the settings tab, because if you go and see the settings, you have also dark, dark mode, by the way, which is great. And uh, you cannot do, uh, you cannot see uh, a panoramic view of all the settings that you have, because you need to scroll down and, uh, and uh, discover them while you're scrolling, you see here. I would prefer here to have a tabbed, a tabbed system, for example, that can let me choose where I want to go and click. For example, I want to go to the basic settings, basic settings. I want to go to the email report settings, I click on email report. And you see here, if I need to access all the, the different settings, I need to scroll. I don't like to scroll in that much. You see here, <laughs> it is quite annoying. But this is a, a, a really simple thing, a really simple thing that they can, uh, the developers can, uh, can address, I believe. Then we have uh, also another thing that I would like to, to see here is uh, the fact that we, mm, I would like to have a white labeling feature that can let me change the colors of this uh, screen, for example, that I can uh, use to change the logo up here to the left side. And basically, to customize a little bit further this uh, dashboard. So these were two things that, are, in my opinion, can be enhanced in the plugin. So let's see who's behind this project. Behind this project, you can find Ben Sibley and Andrew Mead, two developers that has already a, a great career in the WordPress ecosystem. Ben has founded the Complete Themes website where he developed a lot of different uh, uh, WordPress themes and Andrew has uh, an expertise about teaching programming on Udemy. And if you choose to switch to independent analytics, I also suggest you to go and visit the roadmap because here you can find all the interesting features that are in development right now or that are planned to be developed. This is great. It's going to become one of the best analytics plugin ever. So let me know what do you think about this plugin in the comment section below. In my opinion, it's really, really the best analytics plugin for WordPress. It has a wonderful free version and a very affordable pro version, and it is the best alternative to Google Analytics. So I hope to see you in the next video. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, my name is Pascal, and I'm the creator of WP Roads, the YouTube channel and website where I share with you the latest news, honest reviews, and interesting interviews all about the WordPress ecosystem and world. Ciao, ciao, and wish you all the best.